Hi folks, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And Tinko has been killed in a freak seesaw homicide accident. Ah! Or murder. <laughs> um, last time, we spent a lot of time discussing the murder of Tenko that happened during a seance uh, conducted with a group of our, our folks following the murder of Angie because we're in a double murder situation. Um, having delved deep into the possibilities of what may have happened to Tenko last time, we eventually reached the conclusion that Tenko was killed with a scythe that was pinned on a on an iron cage between the iron cage and a dog statue, mm -hmm. and that she was seesawed up into the scythe, uh, killing her not quite instantly, even though Maki covered for us when we lied and said that it was instantaneous. Yes. Yeah. Um, currently, Allison's deepest and highest suspect is Correcchio, mm -hmm. who is our best buddy, so it's uh, causing some strife. Yeah, um, in me, in me. Yeah, yeah like... not in the game, in, in our actual lives. I mean, it might be causing strife in Shuichi. Shuichi is also pretty good at figuring things out ahead of time, too. And like, sort of. And, and Correcchio's Shuichi's best buddy, so. Well, I mean, they're at least, they're at least good friends in that we've been hanging out with Correcchio and doing his free time at this. Yep. So, uh, I mean, technically, I think the game wants you to think that Kaito and Maki are his best yeah, buddies. I, I, I think that's probably more accurate. More accurate. But we just happen to have hung out with Correcchio a bunch of times. Fine, Correcchio is our best buddy. Yeah. Um, so, and yeah. Uh, just every time Shuichi's like, wow, I had like a good time hanging out with Correcchio and I learned so much and it's just so pleasant every time. I, I hate it. <laughs> God damn it. Well, right now, Correcchio has thrown the, the shade onto Himiko. Which uh, is sus as hell. <laughs> so I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I took the words out of your mouth. Nope, you're good. <laughs> anyway, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Uh, yeah. Uh, the middle room. Yeah, we know that she mm -hmm. said use the middle room. So. Oh, yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! Mm. She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. <laughs> Our culprit, no. Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance, and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Then, she killed Tenko, all according to plan. That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? Hmm. In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tanko, right? Kill... Tanko? I... killed Tanko? Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Oh, that's not... Himiko? <laughs> What's wrong, Himiko? It is true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea. But does that mean Himiko really killed Tanko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel? Are you thinking by like... Is it intermission time? Yeah, by like cause and effect that she like indirectly killed Tenko by suggesting the room. Maybe that's what she's she, thinking. Yeah, I think that's what she's thinking. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah, and then it causes a bunch of doubt, yep. Okay. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, no, 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 we're good. <laughs> Looks like we've reached the intermission segment, which means it's time for our Guess the Victim Quiz. Victim quiz? Not a culprit quiz? Mm. The only victims are the people 
who are still watching this drawn out boring crap. Damn. That's Monotaro, sorry. Oh, sorry, that was Monotaro. I'm so sorry. Why are you being such a downer all of a sudden? It's okay. It is okay. I am sure everyone is happy. How do you know? They could be skipping this entire conversation for all you know. What, what? us skipping a, a Monokuma theater? Never. Normally we would. Never. But not in this series. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. The real victim is here. Me. Why are you getting upset? If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put up with all this nonsense all the time. Mm. Absolutely right. That's the right answer, Monadom. Mm. <laughs> Why? He hasn't said anything. Hey, um. Exactly. Because there are no victims. Yep. Even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner. Because then everyone mourns you and you get tons of posthumous popularity. Daddy. Oh, Daddy, you don't need to reveal these kind of behind the scenes details. All right. Dying makes you more popular? Then we gotta die soon, too. Oh, don't worry. Your time is coming, Cub. Monodom says nothing. Monodom is also suspicious. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back in. All right. This is my impression of a spooky, scary ghost. That's great. Ah! I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary. <laughs> Logic does not compute. Uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Whoa. 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 You know what else is scary? <laughs> sweet Sorry. buns. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. So round, so sweet, so delicious. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. We already had Monokuma and Cubs Theater. Why are we getting this? That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, this is not scripted. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't hear anything. Now they're both gonna get killed by Monodom and this one. <laughs> hey, it's a double. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> it's a case three. <laughs> Maybe we lose both of these cubs. <laughs> uh. You already know that he murders. Why are you antagonizing him? Ugh. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Jeez, Miu. Wait. Must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. Hmm. Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. What? I... I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Oof. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? Oof. And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Oof. God damn. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. The game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Kimiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. Just shut up. I told you, I'm too tired. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. 
Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Okay, Correggio. Hmm. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gonta can tell by Himiko's face! Correggio is really closing in on that. Yeah. Himiko's a little slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. Whoa. Jeez. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Is this gonna be a back and forth, like a group back and forth? Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. I don't know. We we haven't had one yet. No. That does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, is not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. So no give up, Himiko. Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up for the sake of everyone who died. Okay. Please tell me Kokichi's account is in here. <clears throat> this is no. a lie one. Bloody Kokichi. Performing the same. I don't think we need to. We'll see. We don't need to, but this is a lie one. Yeah. I can hear it. Yeah. someone steered her into picking that room? Hmm. Of okay. the three empty rooms. <laughs> three empty Why rooms. Why the middle one, Kimiko? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Yeah. Oh, Other yeah. rooms may be trap too. Oh, wait. This is... We can agree. We can agree. Ch okay, so we're yeah. not lying. We're not okay. lying. I just... I just decided to go with it. Because I really want to use that piece of evidence. Okay. Like, that's okay. Sure. Did you want me to do a lie? It's just ah! like I mean, yeah, Each that would have been cool. Was the same. They were all trapped. I just sorry. I'm just really on this 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 thought process. Damn it! I'm sorry. I it's okay. Let it it's play okay. Out. It's okay. We don't uh, have to lie. Yeah. I just. Oh, yeah. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. Yeah. Tell him, Kokichi. <laughs> ah, the uh, tables are turned. <laughs> yeah. I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Uh. Yeah, when you fucking got a concussion. I guess there was no cross piece supporting his floorboards, so I kind of stepped through. Uh, <laughs> what bad luck. Yeah, that was in While a different room. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. Mm -hmm. What? Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kyo. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. <laughs> oh, boy. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? I could be wrong, but I just... Mmm. Mmm. Keep your chin up and live facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Mm. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. Hmm. Oof. This trial, it's not just for our lives, it's for everyone who's died as well. This is also very interesting because we are like, we are constantly acknowledging the previous people who died mm -hmm. in this game too. Yeah, they don't move past them. It, they are incredibly present. Yeah, whereas yeah. I feel like in the other games, you kind of, I mean, you kind of keep rolling yeah. because everyone is in survival mode and their their objectives are different in both of the games. 
we're trying to figure out something else in each of the games. Yep. Whereas in this one, we have this group of people who just flat out don't get along. But the entire time, mm -hmm. we are always going back and remembering everyone who has died. Yeah. Um, and I just think that's and, very And carrying their legacy on mm -hmm. with us. Regardless of whether they were a victim or a blacken. Yeah. Like, because at, at the end of the day, everyone is kind of a victim. Everyone just wants to get out of here. Yeah. 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 So. I agree. Everyone is a victim. Mm -hmm. So. Because yeah. this is all just being orchestrated by Monokuma. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I appreciate that they are acknowledging that the entire way through. That it's like, even even when we discovered who who murdered one of her classmates, we still believe in them to some extent as to like why they did it, or or wanted them to escape, or understood, or you know, or just like couldn't believe it, but like, but had to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's making all of these trials have a little more weight to them like they're not their own individual things well they are but there's just there's just a greater overall weight connecting all of them yeah i yeah. agree that's why we can't give up this is our responsibility we live on you're right yeah that's right if i gave up here I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right! So let's do our best! <laughs> Alright! I'm not gonna say it's a pain anymore! <laughs> I won't give up! I'll fight alongside everyone and survive! <sighs> do not say everyone. After all, the Blackened is still among us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ace, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. <laughs> But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect from my soul bro. We're soul bros now? We're soul bros? Soul bros? <laughs> Who knew? I'm a soul bro. You're a soul bro. <laughs> anyway, do you think the Blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, as a self proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards. Yeah. Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Probably. <laughs> Himiko's like, I'm participating. Well, I'm back now. <laughs> magic. But I think it might have been something else. Why did no one step on a floorboard until it was used for the murder? Because ever because the circle was drawn in the other end. So everyone would have walked on not to the, the floorboard. Ah, oh, that's it. That must be the reason. What am I gonna do? Uh, uh, where's the, where's the circle? Where's the magic circle? Uh, magic circle, correct you, Drew. This is it! Okay, 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 okay. It's because of the yeah. magic circle at the scene of the crime. Uh-huh. Which correct you, girl? Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. Mm -hmm. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plans, too? That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit... There's no doubt in my mind. They're the one that killed Tanko. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive. All right. Here we go. Hey, buddy. It has to be you. Hey, man. Kyo, was it you? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you set it up, man. It's it's <laughs> real clear. <laughs> 
because you were the one who drew the magic circle. Mm -hmm. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of a cage needed to be defined. Yeah, you needed her head to be in a really specific spot on the floor using the little marker so that when you, you seesaw her up into the sickle, she's in the right spot to get killed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Otherwise it would have hit like her shoulder or something. By using the magic circle. Exactly. And again, like I said, by him being the one to place the sheet over the cage, he could have had the sickle on his person and slipped it mm -hmm. in there. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Keo? Answer already! Did you do it? Good laugh. Ooh. Was slurpy. Like that. What is so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? Are you suggesting that you killed Tenka, but you are not the blackened? But if I am the culprit, as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. Well, I mean, you knew where it was, right? Were you, sta you were standing in the right spot to go do it? But I guess there are a lot of marks on the magic circle, so it would be hard to... I also think he was on the other side of the Well, let's let's Mess keep it yeah, up. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna yeah. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I mean, yeah, I guess it is possible it's not him. We've had that happen before. We suspect somebody, and then it's like, psych, it's somebody else. Mm. I don't know. I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. The culprit stepped on that exact floorboard, even in the darkness. But how? How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Um, do we have anything... Could could he have had anything that would allow him to find the right board? Depending on where he's placed, uh, or like standing. I mean, also the circle got totally messed up, but it wasn't messed up until after everybody came into the room mm -hmm. after we discovered the body, right? Yes, that is so correct. So the cir circle is still intact whenever we were removing all the items to check on Tenko. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Although, even after I put out the candle, I could still move along the wall with my hand. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? What are you thinking, man? That's it. The culprit didn't even have to see at all. They used... Hearing, touch, smell, a sixth sense. I guess touch felt their way around. Yeah. yeah. That's it! Because that's what we figured out that we could do that. Yep. So the culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. So if they're if the culprit already knew by touch where on the wall they needed to be, yeah, they just so look for yeah, look for the whatever that is, and then and then do the jump. That way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Were there any other markers within reach? I'm trying to remember the room now. Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. 
No, I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. I mean, I, I, what, is that where the candle was? Was the candle in line? Um, hmm. It must have been at the scene. I know it. Am I gonna get to pick on this, like, something from the scene? Game Man's Game, it's trying to <laughs> C-A-N-D-L. Uh, could it be candle? Could it be candle? Let's start Not with that. Not the first word. No. First word is too short. C-A-N-D-L. What was in there? What was in there? G? We've got G's, we've got C's. It's not C first. Mm, N? M? M? Oh! Uh, mm. magic circle. Salt. Did you just use the- touch the magic circle? Yeah, he could have followed- he could have literally followed it like a- like a maze. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true! That's why instead of it being in chalk, it's in salt. Right! Okay. Right, because then you can feel it. It's tactile. Yeah, you can literally you just like follow yeah. hug the, the curve of it. Yep, that's entirely true. Uh, where's the C? Okay. So, yeah, there's one C, yep. and then there's an I right here, and we need an R. There's one. A backwards R. I know. <laughs> <laughs> then we need another C right here. L. No. Give me an L. L. And an E. There's an E right there. Yeah. There we go. All right. We saw the same E. We did. E. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's why you would do it without with. That's Because then you can feel it. The yeah. magic circle. That's. Wild. They use the magic circle. Yeah. Yeah. And then you would know, and like, and Keo drew it, so you know how it should look, right? Yeah. And like, he had it memorized. Yes. He drew yes. it without even referencing the book. Yep. Yep. So he knew exactly where to go um, by feeling it. Yeah. Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. Wow. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. Hmm. <laughs> An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. What? Do you want to explain? Please. Please explain. Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. Hmm. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. Ooh. Well, we kind of figured that out that it was drawn the same, right? Didn't Kokichi say it was drawn? In oh, no, it was erased. We can't confirm. Yeah, he wasn't able to go reference it. Right, 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 right. And the circle is... The it circle looked is, the same to him. But it looked the same. Yeah. But after everyone went through it, it got messed up. So we cannot confirm 100% that it was the same. Something fell in my booth. Oh, it's another yeah. thing from the ceiling. Oh, no! I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Ghosts! I'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it is spooky, but no, <laughs> unfortunately it's very explainable. It exactly <laughs> I know. I have it perfectly memorized. Yeah. Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Unfortunately, not anymore. Not anymore. Yep. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salt, all but guaranteed that it would be temporary. Yeah. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Yes? Hmm. What a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. <laughs> oh, no! Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Oh, my God. Hey, may I have your attention? Oh! 
<laughs> oh, I said cut that out. No, it's, it's good. Too yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs a way to assert himself. He does. <laughs> and if that means blinding everybody, <laughs> so be it. Yeah. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. Kibo. Oh, Kibo. About what? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? No way! Did you really? Are you, bring, are you bringing that up now? Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that perp- Oh. Uh. Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. All right, so what is this function? It's an image recording function. Ooh. Image recording? Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Okay. So wait, does that... Did you see the... Oh, right, you saw the circle Yeah, he was you, originally a participant. You yeah. were in there, and then you left. Yes! Kibo! Can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Ready? Please let it come out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> From your mouth? I, I knew it. <laughs> also used magic like that before. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. You did. Poor guy. Oh, God. Kyo, you didn't account for this, huh? <laughs> Nobody on, accounts for Take Kibo. a picture and see for yourself. Printer, printer Kibo. <laughs> uh, okay, got it. <laughs> I reluctantly took the paper from Kibo's mouth. I think there is probably a line of salt being drawn to the edge. Looks like it. Yeah. Look at that. There are lines from each corner so that you could get to the circle from a corner. How about it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is the magic circle used for the seance. Mm -hmm. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Yeah. Notice anything. Click yeah. on the line! Can I click on any line? I have no idea, but... <laughs> I'll click on this line. The biggest line. There. Got it! I don't think it mattered which line. Got but... it. Yep. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you, I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. Ah! My lie. My lie. You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners. Which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. Didn't matter which corner you were in, mm -hmm. you could get around there. So it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. <laughs> At least he acknowledged him. <laughs> hey, where's my thanks? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Yeah, true, yeah. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically... I make Kibo use that function every day to <sighs> analyze my turds. Uh huh. Your what? Why? Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality. I think she might just be telling the truth here about that. Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty. So. Okay. So I'm just gonna make See? the robot You're look at it. <laughs> No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, too. <laughs> Kyo. Yeah, Himiko. You killed Tenko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can... Your deductions are fiction. Oh, okay. Another... Yeah, another, another one. Once you've one. given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Unimportant? 
I guess because this is still coming back to Angie's trial. Mm. Yeah. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. You are my best friend. You are our friend! <laughs> what are our choices here? Marker stone, iron cage, white sheet, dog statue. Iron if you cage. are going to claim I am the culprit. Ooh, how do I get these ones? Then what of the mirror? <laughs> Not like that. Ooh. It was set up in the cage. Okay. The only people capable of that. Ugh. Are Kokichi and Shuichi who Ugh. carry the cage. Ugh. So suspicion should fall on them. Okay, we advanced. True, we could have placed the sickle there. But we could not have removed it later. I think it's gonna... I gotta select the cage. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. Uh -huh. That was Himiko. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. Oh, I figured it was the white sheep. But oh, oh yeah. Who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in regards to that dilemma... I could try that. I don't know. I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. It was uh, simply put, you, yeah, 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 I know. I'm the killer. letting it go yep. through again. Um, I'm sure that Kyo is the culprit. So do we want to do the iron? Because I guess yeah, it's I think iron. It's the white sheet. I, why would it I, be the white? Oh, because I had he, no opportunity. You, the white. Oh, sheet. Oh, right, right. It's that. That's what I was saying. It's that whenever he brings the sheet and takes away the yeah. sheet. that's right. It's his opportunity. Okay. <laughs> I'm just Thank quoting you. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking we would have to say. But you, he placed it into the iron cage. But we have to. But he, go it's not even in the iron cage. It's on top of it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's the sheet is the reason why he was there in the first place. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sorry. I'm the just running through. The person who could have collected the sickle is oh, oh, shit. No, 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 no. The people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. Yeah. But in regard <laughs> to that dilemma, <laughs> I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. And you would have. Yes, you would oh, have. Cut through your words. Literally. <laughs> the only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. Right, because if, oh, if you had brought in the sheet, you removed the sheet. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. Yep, 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 yep. yep. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. And then threw it down the hole? I guess. Mm -hmm. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. Okay. 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 What? It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, like, was Kyo just planning to do a murder, but Angie got killed first? Is that why? And then he just went through with it anyway? I don't know. Let me hear what he says. Oh, it was you? You killed Tinkle? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Oh. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Oh. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. What you talking about, Keo? Mm -mm. mm. <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. That's what he was getting at earlier. Is that? Yeah. Meaningless. Because he's suggesting that he's not the blackened. Because mm -hmm. he asked about it. Like I said to start with, he's like, "What if there are two killers?" Yeah. You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Ah, that's right. What happened? Uh, what happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. So what was he, if he didn't have that information, what was he hoping to get out of that's this? That's a great question. Yeah. You see, I killed Tenko, 
but not Angie. Oh. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Uh, trivial issue? Oof. No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie! I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Uh, of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Mm -hmm. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! Himiko. <laughs> <laughs> Voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Oof. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. Yet. You're yeah. lying! <laughs> you killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. I think it's highly likely. Nuts to that! Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. No, it's too dangerous to vote before this we arrive at a happens. logical decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We knew it had to happen eventually. Oh, yeah, there you go, buddy. You. Yep. <laughs> Wowee! This argument is getting intense! Mm -hmm. At times like this... The Ultimate Academy is proud to present... ...its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Yippee! I've been waiting for this! <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you, bud. You like flying in the air? He likes flying in the air he and yelling up. <laughs> he, he wants uppies. He, want ups, he wants uppies. <laughs> and he likes yelling at people while in the air. Yeah. You yeah. know what? What are you waiting for? <laughs> I get it. Uh, now, if Q is claiming that he did not kill Angie, and he didn't kill Angie, then who killed Angie? <sighs> Great question. Kyo confessed to killing Tenko, but insists he didn't kill Angie. We won't forgive Kyo for what he did, but we can't vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence and convince everyone. Okay, here we go. This is wild. This one, yep. This one is wild. All right, up we go. Time, right. time to yell at each other in the air. Whee. For no reason. <laughs> For no reason at all, but <laughs> that apparently they like uppies. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's, hey, let's lift up all the dead ones, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, vote for Correcchio. Vote now. Don't vote now. We're gonna not vote now. He okay. killed Tinko and Angie. Uh, 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 which one is this? Angie? Angie. He forced well, his oh. way into Angie's research lab and killed her! Uh, no, no, this is, this is shit. The We're... Katana was found in Kyo's lab. Uh, uh, no, this, uh, lab, <laughs> lab, lab. Is probably, he yeah. Tanko, but he not blackened? Blackened? Blackened. Kokichi. Yeah. Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. Okay, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that it, use the new rule to protect himself all It's along. literally just oh, whatever yeah. they yeah. say. Not yeah. possible. I always forget. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of taking- I got this! Oh, this not one. yet. There's still another mystery to solve. All right, bring me back From around. The beginning. I know. Kyo killed Tinko and Angie. Am I gonna get a, a knock for that? Oh, no, it'll just reset. Okay. 
When we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We have to work together. I got you. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yep. Kyo killed Tanko and Angie. Oh, uh, it's this one. We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Uh huh. Uh huh. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her. Uh, uh, lab, 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 I th lab. I thought. Okay. I th was it Tana was found in Kyo's yeah, lab. Oh, no, it's this uh, one. Anyone. Yeah, shit. I gotta go back around anyway. Fuck. Can you you want to speed through? So did kill yeah. Her. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Okay. 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 Sorry. 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 You're sorry. good. I know Kyo. Kyo. We don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Right. He forced his way into Angie's Angie. research lab. Angie. Angie. Yep. This, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. Exactly. And then it's lab. The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo. Yeah. Anyone could have entered my lab. Mm-hmm. 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 So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not black Kokichi. Yep. Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's planning to use the new rule to protect himself. Kyo! The rule? Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. Yeah. We solved the mystery of He's just... This. Not yet. He's just a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a murderer. Which... In this situation... Go! Oh, shit! It's a <laughs> lie! Yeah. I gotta do this! Go, 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 go! Beep, 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 beep! There you go. Oh, I was trying to look at this. I was like, let me look at the clock here. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, we did it. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. Yes. Yeah. And there's still the mystery of Tanko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Like, why would he kill Tanko? Well, Keo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. The, the, yes. the blood? The outlying piece of evidence at Tanko's murder scene. Is it the uh, the floorboard blood? The dried blood? The dried blood. Oh, yeah, there's blood on her hair. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here it is. There you uh, go. Loose floorboard with the blood. No? Yes, there was something strange Maybe about it. Maybe it's the dried blood. Maybe dried blood was listed separately. Oh, was it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It, sorry, man. Had... Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, is it... Dried blood under the floor. Dried blood under the floor. There it okay. is. Sorry, they both have blood this on them. They do. So. I, I think both probably should have done it, but it's fine. Yeah. The blood stain found under the floor. Yep, yep. Maki and I found it during the investigation. Exactly. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that Tenko's blood? That bloodstain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. Also, the bloodstain was already dry when we found it. But the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that bloodstain the only dry one? The blood stain under the floorboard was dry because it happened before the seance. It happened before Tenko was killed. Uh, it was from the investigation. It was there before Tenko was killed. It happened. I, I thought it was or, number one. It happened but... before the seance. That's it. Okay, yeah. Both of those also sounded kind of similar. The In my mind, the blood stain wasn't from Tenko's murder. Yeah. Okay. It was there before we started the seance. Yeah. Before the seance. That should make it clear whose blood it was. Are we gonna say it was Angie's blood? Oh, she had a wound on her head. She had a wound on her head, yeah. That's it! Yep. That blood stain wasn't Tenko's, it was Angie's. What? Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? We didn't confirm if she was killed in the research lab, right? Um. I mean, there's blood on yeah, the floor. She I, had I, I think it looks like she was probably killed in her research lab. That's fair, but she did have a big bonk on her forehead. She did, yes. Yeah, like a big bloody, like, hit. Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Mm. Okay, well, that's what Maki's thinking. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. 
We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. Yeah, it's true. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Oh, is this the information that you had? Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in rooms? <laughs> it seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. Hey, Kyo. Hey, Kyo. Hey, Kyo! <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now, too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Ooh. Ooh. Drawing them out. Angie left her lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true? Or... Oh, man. Ah. Hmm. And why would he kill both of them? What was he thinking would be the advantage of that? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see? Yeah. Huh. As she's hung up sound, Goldie Katana at Necronomicon. The Art Research child. Lab is not where Angie was killed. Okay. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! I mean, maybe for the, for the effigies? At night. Oh, oh, oh! She, she needed for the Necronomicon to burn it! Yeah. yeah, 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 that's right. There you that go. That sounds like something only you would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she went in there... She went because we know she never quite got to the point where she burnt the Necronomicon. Right, so right. So if she goes in there to get a candle to burn the Necronomicon, uh, Correcchio would have known that, so he would have set up all three of the rooms potentially uh, in order to, to to get her and to kill her. Like, so there's Possibly. that, and then you could still use those rooms to to kill whoever wants to do the caged child. Interesting. What did Kokichi see? I'm sorry. We already know. Yeah. Yeah. The art research lab. Okay. Is not where Angie was killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. Empty room instead. She, she left her lab on her own. We're gonna go over. There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! <laughs> yeah, did I get it? Consent! Consent! Consent. Yep. Yep, 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 because we know she didn't finish the, the, That's it. uh, ritual. Yep, she, she got pretty far along, but... A candle. Yep. Yeah, for kinky wax play! Absolutely, Mio. Uh, well, no. Angie was gonna use it for the ritual. Weirdly, she's kind of right, because they were wax figure effigies. Yep, let's go so. with it. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. We let this yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta burn it. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, use yeah, the yeah. Ashes. I was wrong. I thought that maybe this whole case would be like it's gonna make you think that it should be correct, you, but it's actually you not. Did, you did say those words exactly. But at, oops, it, I think it was just correct, yo. <laughs> oops, all correct, yo, for both of these murders. <laughs> oh man. I'm still upset then, about did it! Did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right! There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. Mm, I don't think so. Right? Mm -mm. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms! I didn't know that's what the back of her jacket looked like. It's cool. Huh. I guess. Yeah. And that's when the culprit attacked her! And then... Well, let's see. I mean, I guess that means was what? She hit on... Was she hit with the floorboard? Like, bonk! Like, like swung and hit with the board? And then... Or killed in here? I mean, because they said this is the scene of the murder. So, possibly killed in here? 
And then moved? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, but we were thinking that she was killed with the, um, with the katana. Yep. That's definitely I mean, still that's, possible. I mean, that's what it said. That was the cause of death was was a stab, right? It was yeah. a stab wound. Okay. I guess you could still be stabbed with it here. That's why there was dried blood under floor. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. Mm. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. You're, you're, you're flipping it. Because <laughs> you're originally accusing her of, of killing her. Mm-hmm. And now you're like, good job! This, for the moment, seems borderline kind, so... Yeah, <laughs> you're throwing her a bone here. This must be a Tua's will. Or maybe the power of magic. It's neither. I just picked one. <laughs> Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? <laughs> Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? That's, it is a good point. I was bringing that up. Yeah. It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. Unless, it, unless again, she was knocked out in there, brought into the lab, and then killed. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. That means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of that. Okay, now I can use the floorboard. Where is it? Uh, I was gonna say Monokuma f file, but maybe. Oh, yeah, Monokuma file 3 is probably good. Just because it's got... There were two injuries. Guess not. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Mmm. If she died, if she didn't die in the empty room, then why was she attacked twice? The culprit must have been a big bad meanie to do that. Damn it! All right, yeah. Um, My bad. Maybe I, I think you were right. I just figured the Monokuma file was more efficient. No, it does like say that there is uh, an injury to her head. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say the loose floorboard. Yeah. No. What? Really? Really? Shit. What? What? Oh then? no! Is Monokuma file three the right Monokuma file? Oh man. yeah. Yes, is it, it is. That that's because four is for Tenko. Because Monokuma file three is for Angie. Yeah. 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 You're right. Um, um. I mean, is there anything else that forehead should... injury? There it is. Where's her forehead injury? You forehead. Were just on oh it. Yeah. my god! Yep. It's right there. Yep. That's always so this frustrating when we know what the answer is. It's but just, just finding how they want us to give it the to them. Wound yeah. Was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. Yep. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and it was there that the culprit finished her off. And the door would have been open. Yeah, because she, she, she just left it and she couldn't lock it. Yeah. Yeah, Kyo. All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear. What is all clear? What is... What are you... All clear? Whoa, whoa, my guy. My guy! What are... You all... You... You what? What, what are... I will not fear. I will not back down. 
What's happening? <laughs> Sweet Correcchio. Oh, it's yourself. your sister. Right. Uh, we did get far enough in his social link to actually address right. this. Right. <laughs> It's, now that's a complex. A, now that's a <laughs> complex. You're absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got a lot of callback. <laughs> that solid, solid callback. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let us continue. Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. What? <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> you must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Hey, yes, a transfer you're student. Right. A transfer okay. student, indeed. I'll teach them. Wow. What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies. <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts, of mysteries, of a dense, impenetrable fog! Okay, we're gonna have to fight you now, I'm assuming. Is it time? Is it time? <laughs> Is it time to disrobe him? For and the then... worst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what we do yeah. when we reveal the face and everything. <laughs> Is it time to disrobe him? <laughs> that's what happens in the minigame! <laughs> yeah, I know! Okay, alright, yeah. Nothing is clear at all! Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, no? No, no, I guess Another not Another one? Is there <laughs> third one? <laughs> Why are there three? And we're still at some Bloody point. Bloody duct tape. That's Andrew probably what's going to come up. was attacked the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible. Impossible. That's nothing but a delusion. You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions? Got it. Get wrecked. No yeah. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. Okay, what was After I saying it was, was going to be? Struck in the empty room, bloody duct tape. She was carried duct tape. to the art research lab. Why would it be the bloody duct tape? Though, but whatever. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? That's why. The That's hallway right. and empty room had no blood stains. Nope, not that one. <laughs> so you did see blood in the hallway? No, come on. Then you why was it meant. smeared all over? You because it wasn't what there, is it? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> You're just bending the facts. <laughs> what kind of detective are you? Oh, shit. I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, was it? the culprit carried Angie's body? So it's not the bloody duct tape. And not a single no, drop it's of probably blood just fell. not that. The hallway and empty room had no blood There might stains. be another one to slice. Oh, Even yeah, maybe. wipe them down later. There'd still be traces of evidence left behind. Ah, shit. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Suichi? It was this, though. No. <laughs> okay, I went too early. I was like, it's gotta be the bloody duct tape. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. You okay. got it. Okay. All right. Okay. There's evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Now, hold on. Does, do we think that the, that the sister acts independently of Correcchio. Do we think they're wrong? I mean, they're talking to each other. They, they, they talk they, they to each other. They talk to each other, so that makes me think, yes? I don't know. Mm. Which is why maybe Correcchio's saying, I didn't do it. Because... I don't well, and that's all that. that <laughs> <laughs> transfer student. Yeah, I mean you're right, but if you black, if the transfer student is the blackened, unfortunately, Correcchio's body is is the one that needs to be sacrificed. I mean, I'm just saying, but yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not sure that solves anything no, for the guy. No, it does not. It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Wow, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was used as like a bandage. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. Mm. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. Yeah. Must have been Atua who did that for us. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced. 
There's only one person who could have killed Angie. Time to pick again. Turns yep. out it's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> you did a double murder. It Bad time. You. You're not our friend anymore. <laughs> Friendship ended with correct you. Oh, no, you, know, you can't sit with us. killed Angie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? So it's true. Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. <laughs> You killed both of them. There's still a twist! Apparently. Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Yeah, like why kill both of them? I gotta say, I'm I'm I really didn't want to push it. But I was really bummed we didn't get Keo's final social link because I, I have no idea what goes on there oh man we we're one away and i'm like if we just do ah! one more but there was there was literally no way i could be like i think we should do another key yeah hangout i mean without it being but i'm like i really wonder what, what was up there but i was i wanted to do another keo hangout like i wanted to keep hanging out with him well, i don't think there was literally an opportunity for us to right or did i hang out with somebody else we we hung out with um uh, uh we, we flubbed one on angie and then we also hung up with kokichi you're right we did Hung, up, hung, hung out with Kokichi. Yeah, we did try to hang out with Angie. You're yeah. totally right. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. I just, just want to know what happens there. Yes. Like, what kind of, in, like, info you get out yeah. of that. Like, if we reveal any more of, like, of Sister. Because we got we got an intro. Yes. We, did, we got a little intro to Sister. And he, and, uh, he was saying stuff about, like, uh, like, if he was telling Shuichi, like, if you were a girl, she would love to meet you mm -hmm. and hang out. I don't, it just, and Shuichi was like, why does that matter? Can't yeah, why, we, do, why do I have to be a girl? We, and what's the deal there? And what's yeah. going on with that? Yeah. Yep. Huh. Why? Why you kill them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. Really? An accident? How and why? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Is that Tenko was the accident? Tenko was exhaustively Which set one? up. Yeah, that's the thing. Angie. That's what I'm. Pro then why? He was probably saw on the floorboards when Angie came in. It was like, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I guess that's. <laughs> It was, it was, what was extra funny is Gina did another mime. <laughs> You've mimed in now every what episode. With this? <laughs> what are you doing down there, Correcchio? What the fuck is that, Correcchio? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that's You what... wouldn't be planning a murder, would you, Correcchio? Uh, no, not at all. Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> like... Whoa, what? Hello? I didn't know I could do that. A superpower. <laughs> I didn't know I could, like, nod up and down or shake my head. <laughs> it's along with the tone setting. Whoa. <laughs> Utterly useless, but gives why is, immersion. Why is this functionality here? I don't know. That's hilarious. The murder that was an accident. Uh, it's the murder of Angie. It's a good point. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> he was planning to set up the Angie's caged child murder. murder. Was an accident. And then Angie walked in. Yep. It was bad luck. What? Tenko wasn't accident? That's right. Keel originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. Mm-hmm. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. Yep. He had to make a change of plan. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. And then just, just went through with the and then still the culprit yeah. setting up. And then still and killed. killed. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm like, all right, well, can't back out now. I know. Uh, Do you know how much work I put into this? This train is rolling and I cannot stop. So. <laughs> <laughs> then you should have just stopped there. Angie killed Angie. There was no reason for him to kill Tinkle. That's kind of what I was like wondering. Like, why? I mean, I guess. Because he didn't know about the rule? But that doesn't even make any sense. He still killed two people. He still so killed yeah. two people. And like... <sighs> he only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Mm-hmm. Yep. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? 
Oh, man. Oh, I love man. how everyone's like, we completely get you killing one person, but two? Come, Come on. on. <laughs> also, you. Oh. What is it? What on earth are you talking about? No, I'm not the culprit. So why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it? Calm yourself, Correcchio. Yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. So we have another character with two people in one body, it seems, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it. It seems like it. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. Potentially. I Different don't know. relationship than um, yeah, yeah. Show and, and Jack, but yeah. Mm -hmm. You were right. Yeah. You're don't right. know why I said Show and Jack. That's both. That's both Show. That's both Show. <laughs> That's both. Toko, yeah, it's Toko, Toko and Jack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Toko, you're Jack now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, Toko. <laughs> There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. But you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. No, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. You're just gonna deny. You're just gonna deny, deny. Okay, deny. we can right, do right. a rhythm game. Yeah, that's well fine. Said. Good job, Correggio. That's a that's a new sprite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks. I was about to say we have are, versions of it. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Is he just I want to see up and down? animated. <laughs> yeah, uh, moving it up and down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out. No evidence. There's no evidence that he killed Angie. You're wrong. There is evidence. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. Mm. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. I thought we were supposed apologize. to be friends. Yeah. Sister. Apologize. Apologize. Apologize, 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 apologize. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Vibrating, buddy. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell's happening? I have no idea what's happening with Keo. I, I mean, I, I mean, I have a hint, but it happened in a free time event, which means I'm not allowed to reference it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. Do I have to do this? You know it. Whoa! Whoa! That's oh, wild! Cool. Okay, this is a hold. <laughs> you are simply ah. wrong. Holds I'm really fuck me up. It. So I have nothing to I confess. Think, okay. ah. <laughs> I have nothing to admit. Come on. You are simply wrong. I don't know how to do the holds. I will never know how to do the holds. I. I. <laughs> I'm not the culprit. Oh, it's just like so this. Okay. Yeah, and ah. then I think you release. Yeah. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Oh, what the fuck? Come on! I'm not the culprit. Because I start so holding I it when it comes on. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't know. There's also an arrow that says hold, so maybe you hold it starting at the arrow. Maybe. It's merely a delusion. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. No, that can't be right, because anyway. I can't hear it now. <laughs> Is there? Okay, there we go. That's merely a delusion. Oh, I don't need it. Yeah. 
Oh, come on, just do that. Whatever you just did. Continue this debate is meaningless. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's merely a delusion. Ah! Ah! No! To continue this debate is meaningless. I think your timing is just off. For the, I think you're doing the holds right. I think your timing yeah, is just yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Delusion. Ah. Well, not that. The thing you were doing I'm earlier. I'm hitting the wrong button. To continue this debate. No. <laughs> Fucking hell. I told you I can am I, can not I... the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong. The, the, not me. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Here's the truth. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Your timing is. Uh, you've done it right a couple Apologize. times. Your timing is just off Apologize. on it. Ah. I'll just do you this. Not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcio speaks the truth. Ah! Such a sorry lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'll ever get the timing right on that. <laughs> you got it right before, though. I don't know why, though. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong. That's interesting. Yep. Never seen that before. Such a ah. sorry lot. <laughs> no, I just apologize. <laughs> apologize. Apologize. Ah, I'm the wrong order. The wrong order. Oh no, no, the wrong order. Oh, no, I got it wrong. I'm not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong. Not me. Oh god. No. Oh no, that was the one. I looked at the one wrong. It doesn't matter. There, I got it. Nice. Final blow. Uh, uh, you have no proof this is, that Correcchio is the killer. Uh, remove floorboard. Yes. <laughs> well done. Thanks. <laughs> Strip that man. Strip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Floorboard used in the seesaw trick. Oh my God. Uh, uh, I hate you that one. You got you got through it without a signal. They didn't make you restart <laughs> i'm gonna get a d it doesn't matter on that one but you're right <laughs> i did it you did it <laughs> yeah that's uh what you did man i see and how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon it had fucking blood on it i mean it wasn't the murder weapon it was used to bonk her over the head there was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard angie's blood Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. The blood underneath. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the board had the to be floorboard yep. must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Right, right, right. Because he was setting it up, mm -hmm. he moved the board to cut out the cross piece or whatever. The, the uh, yeah. yeah. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Mm -hmm. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. H how? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. Mm -hmm. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Huh. Uh. Yup. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> it just kept going. Yeah, damn! Wow, that was a scream. Love the commitment. Yeah. I yeah. believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. And a cold copter with a floorboard. Yeah, and she's like, uh, what's that? Bonk! <laughs> like, and then, oh. Man. Yeah. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Yeah, it's true. Amateur mistake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Confessing to murder. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. This is the truth. Uh, uh. Can we can we talk to sister? Hello. I would I'm sure, Allison, I'm sure you're going to get to voice <laughs> sister. All you, all oh, you need to. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're almost at the end. <laughs> it's just time to create. All right, Wait. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Before the comic book kicks off. Yeah. 
Let's end it here. Yeah. Because as we've learned, you can't actually exit out in the comic book. That is correct. So we have to stop here. Yep. And then we will create a comic book. And then we will run through exactly what Correcchio did to perform this double murder. And why. And why. We're going to have to have and a little And who our chat. transfer student is. Yeah. I would love this to have. It seems like we had one. Maybe. The, the whole mark? time. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wow. It really did just, like, kind of tell you that in the free time event, huh? Like, it kind of... Well, I mean, you you I definitely mean, caught on to it pretty vividly. That's fair. Like, who yeah. is sister? Yeah. What's, what's the, that about? What's the deal with that? What's that? Capital? Yes. Capital, capital S? Capital sister. <laughs> yeah. Not my sister, but yeah. just sister. Just sister. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Man... I mean, now that now that I've gotten through like the shock and upsetness of <laughs> it being Keo, because we've been hanging out with Keo and he's our friend, I'm like, now I'm mad at him. Yeah, no. Now Ma I'm being mad, mad at, at him is a great response. Now I'm really mad at him. Like, and what? What the heck, dude? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why? You killed two people. You also, didn't stop. He didn't stop. He was planning to do a murder in the first place and then was like, well, <laughs> and for a penny, I guess. Guess I got to do this too. Like, what? But why though? Like, why? So we'll have to find out next time. Yeah. We'll see you then, folks. Bye. <laughs>